Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we know, the French Defense Minister Florence Parley has visited India last month and had meeting with her counterpart Sri Rajnath Singh. Besides offering additional files, Barracuda class submarine, the another major development which was reported was the engine development. The Defense Minister had informed that France has agreed to make an engine in India under a strategic partnership model. He further added that such an engine is currently not even being made in France. Meanwhile, GTR discovery effort may have failed to yield a usable fighter class low bypass after burning turbo fan, but its core is being developed further and is quite usable and the learnings have been significant. GTRE is progressive in further improving the recovery engine to develop higher thrust. The engine to be co-developed by India and France will power India's fifth generation fighters. However, France has no experience in developing an engine for fifth generation fighter. The best engine it has in its inventory is M88 which powers Rafale. The Snecma M88 is a French afterburning turbofan engine being developed by Safran Aircraft Engines for the Dassault Rafale fighter jet. The M88 develops 73 kN of thrust with afterburner. There are different variants of M88 engines for different types of fighter jet. M88 II produces 50 kN of dry thrust and 75 kN with afterburners. Two engines of this variant are used in Rafale fighter jets. M88 III produces 93 kN of thrust with afterburner. It is developed for a single engine light combat aircraft. M884 produces 105 kilonewtons of thrust with afterburner. It is being developed for medium weight single engine fighter jet. Now it's highly likely that France will offer M884 engines to India as its thrust is close to the requirement of MK which will be more than 110 kilonewtons. There are some updates related to the trials of M884 engines which we will be discussing in today's video. Similar to US Air Force Next Generation Air Dominance Program, the Future Combat Air System FCAS program has been designed for the development of 6th generation fighter jet for Europe. France, Germany and Spain are jointly working on development along with Airbus. The fighter jet will have much higher thrust requirement when compared with existing fighters like Rafale. Higher thrust means higher temperature will be experienced inside the engine core and fan blades. The temperature can reach as high as 1827 degrees Celsius at the turbine jet inlet which is 250 degrees more than what is experienced by M88 engines. The metal alloys present in M88 engines cannot sustain such high temperature. To achieve this, French General Directorate of Armaments DGA, French National Aerospace Research Center ONERA and Safran are working on accelerating the development of new metal alloys and multi-layer systems for high temperature applications on turbine blades and discs. The engine under development for 6th generation fighter jet program is a derivative of M88 and most likely to be M884 as it can generate the maximum thrust of 105 kN. As per the latest update from Aerotime Hub, France has completed the first trial of its M88 derivative which will power the 6th generation fighters. The trial was performed on a test bench as a part of Turin Defense Technology project. As per the French DGA, this test is distinctive by the technique used called thermocolor which requires heat sensitive paint applied to the blades of the engine's high pressure turbine blades. It measures the temperature thanks to a color change. This type of trial is very rare. The most recent at DGA propellant test dates back to 2010. It took 5 years for the conditions to be ready for this experiment. Once the results of the first trials are analyzed, the project will further move on to endurance test that should last several months. This was today's update. 
please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector